beautiful thing right here, cuz. People, people pay money to see you do cartwheels. Oh, yeah. I see you. Hey, I'm Coach Jess Simpson, defensive line coach here at the University of Miami. I see myself as a teacher first. What I really enjoy doing is having a teaching progression and see, your, see players improve and get better. Show them what it can look like and what it can be like and how we can feature them in this system. Come under. That's it, Chance. Thank you. If you're that end right there, boom. You're running a straight line. Block two, block away. I know what I got. No, no high chops. Boom, boom, good. Remember, cross chop to get his hand down. Chop the counters, and these guys got to be up. So higher to power, higher to power now. You don't have to go two yards in power. It can look like yesterday's rush where you're three, four yards power or five and under, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like go underneath them now. I think our defense is unique. We're vertical, we're attacking, and, and it's as a D-line coach, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play in, it's a lot of fun to coach in. Your hands are outside. I want you square, and then no, square, then left right arm. Square first. Hey. Good, right there. Splitting this thing. Splitting this thing. Power scoop. Tank. Transition. Transition. Ball. Nice. Yeah, man. We're leverage tackling him. I'm on this back half right here, right? So when you hit that thing on the second step, that guard can just pop off and catch you. And the tackle can squeeze down here. That's, that's why we're doing That's why we're learning. Good. Now work it. Nice. Nice. That one is pink. You know what? What was fun about a player coach relationship is. When, when kids and people know that you're just you and you're authentic. I told them yesterday, all I can do is meet me and all you can do is be you. And what makes it fun is when people aren't trying to be something that they're not. You know, I'm an old high school coach at heart. I'm a coach effort, fundamentals, and toughness every single day. There's going to be an exactly right way to do things. We're going to hold kids to a high standard. We're going to be disciplined in how we play. And uh, I think the products you're going to see this year on, on the Miami defense when we take the field, I think people are going to be excited. Oh, yeah. One time for DMX, baby. We're going to be a tough group. I mean, we're going to get the job done by any means necessary. Whether that's go inside the tackles, go around the field, whether it's pass blocking, whether it's catching, we're going to do our job. And like I said earlier, the running back motto is success don't care about how you feel, it only cares about the process. We got to get it done, period. Success don't care about how you feel, it only cares about the process, right? Get it done. Go. Work, 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 work. Good. Read it, make a cut, and let's go. Let's go. Ready? Go. Good. Good, good. You know, I pride myself off loving my kids. I love each and every last one of them like they're my own children, my biological son. And I tell them I love them. And I want them to understand that, you know, if anything they're going through in their lives, whether it's on the field or off the field, that Coach Hickson is going to be here. And I think it's very big for us to have a pair of coach relationship for the simple fact is, is that now we can have conversation. You know, it ain't just me barking down them, getting when they do something wrong, I'm barking at them, barking at them, barking at them. Never get them an opportunity to explain themselves or, or get an understanding of how we can grow from their mistake or how we can grow from their uh, success. You gotta wait till you catch it. And then you gotta wait till you catch it. Even though it's a bad snap, you're not gonna just, just try to pause as long as you could till the quarterback get it, and then he's able to give it to you. Who's play with our eyes? Our feet don't have to move, we play with our eyes, make sure we get our checks, make sure we understand where the sky coming from. Just be alert. Let it sort out and eat the grass up as you go. Right there. Good. Right there, Jalen. Good. Good, good. Way to see it. Way to see it. What I want to see from the players here. One, I want them to graduate. That's the biggest thing for me is to graduate. And for us on the field, I want them to be successful as they want to be. Only, only they know how good they're going to be, whether they're going to put in the work and whether they're going to do their job. But for us, for me, I want them to graduate, and I want them to have the best career they want to have here within the range of what they want to do. All right, we just got to keep working, keep working, keep pushing, man. Keep working and keep pushing. Let's go, break it up. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we got a couple on. Let's go. Count the paper. You got the paper. Love on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Love. I'm Coach T-Rob, defensive back coach at the University of Miami. Here we go, here we go. Up right, up right. One and right in front of you. Talk to each other. Talk to each other. So if I'm here, I'm still diving. So now I can be getting that pass. All right, stop. You love to do this. Look where you at. How you going to help anybody over there? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I stay on the hash. The thing about me, I'm a player's coach. I'm going to have a relationship, a personal relationship with the kids off the field. On the field, um, the relationship is going to be business. Uh, I'm trying to get you to reach your ultimate goal, which every kid that we want to recruit here at the U, we want those guys to have aspirations to play at the next level and at least think they're good enough to do that. Come on, don't guess. Come on, fast. React. Good. Here we go. React. Ball. Good. Get to the ball. Good job, dude. It's a good job. Hey, 
Just talk better. That's a good job, though. So then just hit. Yep, I just stay where I'm at. We locked down. Strike a lockdown. We line up here, and we working with the mic. Gotta go, you gotta go! Square it up, square it up, square it up. Square it up, square it up. Square it up. Good, square your feet up. Here we go, stay right here, let's go. The one thing that I want to do is build a relationship with the current parents um, of the guys that we have. And I think that's very important to know exactly where they come from, what's their environment, how did they grow up, and then you can kind of take that approach on how you want to coach them. And that's one of the things that I want to do. As far as the players that I've been able to speak with now, I brought everyone in and we went through individual meetings and I wanted to find out where they were from, what some of their goals and aspirations, um, what have they done in the past and what do they want to do in the future. And I think that's one of the things that I do from the relationship standpoint of always having that talk with those kids to understand and let them say it from their mouth and then act accordingly after that. Go get it now, go get it. Good, get off the ground. There it is. Nice, 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 got hands up. Get inside, get inside, man. You got no help. Inside, foot up, you got to tight in. You coming, Tariq? Miami is a place that my mom was a huge fan of. Coming out of high school, this is what she wanted me to do. And it, the, the pieces just didn't marry up right for me to do that at the time. And so I was excited to be able to have that opportunity because I never told her that this was even an option when I was kind of deciding where I wanted to go. But when I finally called her and told her, she said she knew it. She knew that this is something that I would eventually get back to doing. And I'm excited to be able to do that and then build a brand here at the University of Miami. Um, it, it's gonna be an exciting thing for me and my family. I mean, it just starts with the previous tradition. You know, guys that have really started this from years and years back. And then when you come here as a tight end, you know, you have to maintain that tradition. It's important that you do so to respect and, and understand the guys that's been here before you and what they've done. Let's be perfect. Stick it, good. Stick it, good. Shoot your hands. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, good play. Let's go, let's go. And always assume he's gonna be flowing, right? He's not just gonna be sitting there. He's flowing with the run. So go where he's gonna go. Make sense? These guys are essentially tripling to that guy in the box. But more vertical. Be more vertical. Keep chopping wood, right? Tree definitely will come down. Makes sense. That's why on all these schemes, you're making sure you're putting yourself at an angle where he's going to end up the falling of that. And understanding that the players are going to be able to figure out quickly if you're genuine, if you truly care for them on and off the field, even with the guys that you coach, just being there for them in all points of their lives, um, not necessarily just about football, but on a daily basis, just checking on them making sure they're good, their family's good. I think that's important. Because I can tell you're starting to look a little sloppy when you're running. Don't, don't show that, you, you know what I mean? We gotta stay consistent, you know? Stay consistent in everything you do. Full speed, jogging back, being a leader, right? Making plays. Do, right? Hey, hey, stay the course, no matter what. You make a mistake, we move on, keep rolling, right? I'm proud of you, let's go. I'm from South Florida, um, coached high school ball, my first job. You know, was down here, I was at Miami Central when I, you know, right out of college. I'm blessed to really work with some amazing young men and build some really good relationships. And to come to the University of Miami, and, you know, be here where my family's at, my daughter, it's just been great. It's been a blessing and super appreciative of Coach Diaz for that. Hey, seven. Low key. I'll lock you down right now, though. Huh? I'll lock you down right now. Oh man, it's awesome, man. It's a dream come true. I'm excited for the opportunity that Coach DF blessed me with. I'm ready to get this thing going. Stay low. Hot that shoulder, man, and go. Ah, he's way low. He's going to take that two feet and make it to 32. With the bullet. Oh, watch out now. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, two. Come on, man. Good job. So, uh, well, my coach thought would be basically, you know, I'm going to be energetic, you know, make sure I'm, I'm pushing my guys to the, the limit, you know, make sure I'm getting the, every ounce of talent that's in their body out of them. I'm going to be out there just acting like one of the players, man, going full speed, man, having fun with it. Okay, hey, I see you, hey. Right. Good job, 23. Good job. You want to fire the enemy? I'm going, I'm zoning up, all right? One, two, three, four, five out, all right? Slam mad. You get this? I'm fire y'all. I ain't touching that. And you the corner? You got to get inside of that. My vision for those guys is to become better players off the field and on the field, you know, and um, my goal is to make sure every guy, you know, leaves here a degree in one hand and an NFL contract in the other hand. And uh, also to become, just become better, better future fathers and better future husbands. They pay a lot of money for this in the NFL. Good job. You good, you good. Jam, he did that. Right there, yeah, good job. Yeah, ball, ball. Oh! 
Let's go, baby! Good job! Hey, hey, hey. It still hasn't hit me yet. I think, you know, when we start, you know, spring practice, and now, you know, I'm coaching guys up and, you know, things like that. I think it'll be my surreal moment for me. Hey, I'm excited to be here. Well, to stay here. We're going to separate the boys from the men today. I have a safety on top of me that's capping it. I got a corner outside of me that's containing it. And I'm convincing it. Right? Three C's. I cannot get cut off by that guy and go behind him. Square! Strike! Good! Run through! Run through! Run through! Good. It's a cane tackle, right? I have to step, replace, step, replace, gain ground, shimmy, compress, accelerate, near leg, near target, through the near thigh board. Step into the tackle with your near leg and near shoulder. Attack it, attack this, attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it! And it is one motion. As soon as I, yes, yes, it's here. I'm not getting into a wrestling match. It's gotta be a violent strike. Strike, boom, that's it. That's it. And Coach Ish, uh, that guy, come with a lot of energy every day. Uh, just want us to work, man. Kind of crazy, but this guy, uh, he come, great energy, high energy, and comes to practice with pride and just wants everybody to get better no matter what. Here we go. We're going to have to go. Go, 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 go. Sell. Straight. Go, go, go. Uh, run the number. Knee bent, palm flat, eyes up. Hit what you see, see what you hear. He comes to block me, near leg, near shoulder, attack his throat. Right down the V of the neck. Make sense? Ooh. There we go, Trace! There we go! Got it. Let's go! Get on, man! What are we talking about? There's another day where we show that we know how to execute this defense. Now, you got some things to clean up, and my job is to help you clean them up. All right? Good work, though. You turnovers. Keep playing hard. Keep doing your thing. It's different. It's different. What's up, mama? What's up? What they do, baby? You should mic me up. How you doing?